He's played into range matchups multiple times, being a Darius enthusiast. Also, credit to Photon for going Swifties first. Bo, getting aggressive, heroic swing coming in for Photon. Adam taking a lot of damage. That's the second proc, but Adam's still walking for now. Third hit, not quite enough. Photon, Adam just... Oh! oh no. The tower no. swap yeah. aggro. The tower swapped and the creep blocked the autos from the ultimates. That was a disaster for Photon. I don't think he finished the charge. I don't think he... What? All right, we're going to need a replay, observers. safer, like maybe a, a Gnar, but instead really laying down the gauntlet here in game It's one. super interesting though, because now Vitality have kind of shifted up where instead of actually trying to play into the short range composition of where like Aphelios thrives, the Dar Darius thrives as well, instead they're going to go, cool, we can try and play side lanes with this action. We have a ton of range, a lot of uh, abilities that can actually like get us out of the problem spots. So it feels like Vitality just going to try and use their range when the 4v4 and see if they can have action and just push in for days. I'll also say that while there are many like vain top action on top these champions can sometimes struggle against Darius when against the ghost his ability to chase you down if he's able to land the apprehend he can just stick on you for a really long time but action you have so much mobility at your disposal combined with the e along with the flash you're expected to have along with the creativity that you can leverage with the w being able to go invisible move around on the map like, indeed <laughs> is it a word also up for debate <laughs> that said uh, we'll check in intermittently just to see how that timer is ticking up but the jungle is Hovering around mid, Lebrov makes his presence, well, unknown for the time being. Perks is suspicious. He feels that something is amiss, but he goes in. Forward, hook from behind, Lebrov, clean setup. There's no way out. Excellent first blood coming in. I love the angle from Lebrov. Yeah, I mean, they just end up kind of fading. Adam, oh, hold on. Five stacks, gonna ult. He's just gonna bleed out. Maybe. Now ulting just to poke back. All right, I oversold the Darius passive damage a little bit. 150 health remaining. Photon's fine. Still, they'll have to be careful. Shea's but traditionally started off with, oh, you know, Jinx pushes in third wave. She resets. She picks up the cull. So then the Aphelios just started with the cull. So then the Jinx started with the cull as well. But now Photon. Adam. Pretty good trade once again by Adam. I'm sure he's played into range matchups multiple times, being a Darius enthusiast. Also, credit to Photon for going Swifties first. Bo, getting aggressive, heroic swing coming in for Photon. Adam taking a lot of damage. That's the second proc, but Adam's still walking for now. Third hit, not quite enough, Photon. Adam just... Oh! oh no. Did the no. tower swap yeah. aggro? The tower swapped and the creep blocked the autos from the ultimates. That was a disaster for Photon. I don't think he finished the charge. I don't think he... What? All right, we're going to need a replay, observers. What? Wow. Wow. BDS. That sucks. That is about the worst possible series of events. As insult to injury is that they're making a play on the bottom side. Huge damage from Crown. He marks him with the Calibrum. Green White doing tons of damage here. And it was supposed to be Vitality's early game. It was supposed to be Vitality that had agency. Now, Adam, he had an awareness that Bo was around here. The damage looks pretty promising at the start. Bo is tanking the tower initially. Oh, he cues a minion rather than Adam. And then Photon trying to get that last hit in gets hit. That's oh, so much damage. Oh, <laughs> what? The very powerful Aphelios. So this is an interesting look for BDS because oftentimes Crownie is just very quietly scaling on the bottom side, doing well in lane, waiting to be a big team fight threat. But BDS have very clearly, very deliberately pumped so many resources into this Aphelios that he is so far ahead of the clock now. It's going to be hard for Vitality to find a team fight angle here. If they want to take this, they really need to burst down a single member to kick things off. New digits reset. So he has to TP back in before they can go for this. Photon only making his way through mid, though. Again, they get the TP. Bo now going to be in trouble here. Harold taken out. Bo now leaping out to safety. Adam Charm, decent damage, but they can't quite finish the job. Rocket going to connect onto three. Excellent hook from LeBlanc. Reading the movement, coming in for Perks. Now Perks locked down on the backside. Crowning red, white. Vitality continuing to try and take this fight, but Bo already down. I really think if you're Vitality, you need to get to these fights sooner. Try and get some poke down with the range that you have, but just late to the party, Nuke gets the TP back in and a great pick onto Bo. Now sets them up with the Rift Child. Mid tower should be traded here, though. The problem with the Akshan in this situation... Well, you have I mean, maybe to flash right, yeah. Twisted Advance. I mean, Adam has to ghost at someone. We saw how much damage Oops. Photon did, so finding this angle is big. Geo going to open up. Getting the smite down, just make sure the spell shield is gone. Perk's getting taken out here. 
Could very well just mean the Baron for BDS. Shio just continuing to run forward, zoning off. The rest of the team now ready to descend upon them. What is the answer here for the rest of Vitality? Mid Prio seems to be the name of the game, but Crowny, Gale Force in, a quick auto, a quick shutdown, 700 gold into his back pocket. Now, this was the mistake that BDS have been looking for. With Perks gone for 45 seconds, this is a big window, which makes it so much easier for BDS to find the fight that they want. They're going to start off the Baron. Crowny is going to look to melt through this, and Vitality are going to concede the objective. Crowny is so fed on this effect. With the stopwatch secured as well, BDS should feel confident when forcing the fight, and this could very well be it. Now going in, though, Bo immediately going to find three. Crowny's been locked up, but he's managed to flash out into the backside. He is safe for now. The clone falling away. Look at Perks. landing. Perks off to the side, trying to burn down the brawl, but Crowny, Crowny remains untouched. Purple, blue, ready to keep the fight going. No ultimate available. Vitality, do they keep trying to push their advantage here? They burn the flash on Bo. They burn the flash on Upset. So a lot of ultimates were just used there and the dragon is still alive. BDS have the push in mid. It was Adam that went back to base. The dragon spawns in 15 seconds. Photon looking for a pick. Now trying to find the angle onto Photon. Immediately the damage comes down. Crowny Gale Force forward to finish the top laner, but now he's out of defensive cooldowns. Vitality cannot find the angle. Crowny gets the pick, and this surely should mean soul for BDS. But who's going to punish Crowny for that aggressive play? You've got no ultimate on Bow, no real CC to speak of, and that's why BDS are happy to start to push forward. Now Bow needs to get on out of here. We'll hop over the wall as BDS siege up mid and prevent any sort of access for Vitality towards the soul. Such a difficult game right now for Vitality. They found an okay angle to get some summoner spells, but not being able to finish those kills means BDS, even though they couldn't use this Baron, will be able to use this Infernal Soul. Bo remains just trying to flip it, though. And I like the idea for Vitality, but now they can't really get in. Bo is going to be the oh Infernal Soul is gone. Adam is zooming. He is absolutely ready to start stack a lacking, but will not find the angle. Massive moment for BDS. Favored around the objective. Bow not able to get in there to secure it. Perk's going to try to push mid lane. Meanwhile, on the bottom side of the map. And if you pop Crowdy, Nuke just comes back up anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. BDS probably going to break through this top lane tower. Three members of Vitality on the bottom side of the map, just hoping to find a counter punch, hoping to get something back in exchange. Uh, BDS can force a fight here, they can end the game, but I think right now Vitality very aware of the lack of reliable engage options. But here comes the Crowny auto! That's big damage! <laughs> My god! Oh! I, uh, Crowny basically looked at them and then said, yeah, okay, have fun. How long ago was 2021? That's 203 years! <laughs> My god! Wait, hang on a second. Wait, wait. A second. Vitality? What? No! What? Wait, they're interrupting This is not legal. No, no, Perks no, 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 no. Back. Crowny going in. Crowny will not stand for this! Crowny stepping forward. Calibrum, it's, it's gonna finish it. A brief, brief glimmer of hope. By, BDS briefly opened the window. They slammed it on the hands of Perks and Photon. This should be their victory lap. So you can see the idea there. Vitality trying to delay the backs so that Perks and Photon could maybe backdoor. But Adam was in a position to hold. Bow now in danger. Bo knocked back. Crowny knocked up, but seems unconcerned. He's just gonna finish off the monkey. Now can just walk forward, Upset no ultimate. Upset just doesn't do what Crowny does, you know what I yeah. mean? <laughs> right now, Upset just getting zoned out here, desperately trying to auto-attack Shale Shale out of mana, but uh, the tree will not be chopped down here. Upset on the backside, last ditch effort from the bot lane of Vitality, but there is nothing left here. BDS commanding game one, shutting down the top lane counter pick. LeBrov everywhere on the map. Incredible performance. Vitality will not find a single kill in game one.